Hello darlings, it's me again, returning to you with another charming video on one of the world's latest and greatest billionaires. Today's video features a particularly well-known outlandish athlete. Having played football professionally for over 17 years, this precise player has been known to throw some rather tantalizing tantrums. He is also known for some of football's fanciest footwork. Fans have given him the title of greatest footballer of all time. Since 2020, he is also the first footballer to ever become a successful billionaire. Who is this rare individual, you might wonder? Yes, of course, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Forbes' list of billionaires has stated that the Portugal-born star made $105 million before tax in the year of 2020. This has taken his total to a net worth of over $1 billion, and he has, at last, joined the ranks of myself and my billionaire comrades. At only 36 years of age at the time, he is the third highest earning athlete in existence. Currently, he is behind boxing champion Floyd Mayweather and well-known golf icon Tiger Woods. However, this figure is expected to continue climbing. Ever the competitive spirit, Ronaldo has had a number of rivals over the years, and, in particular, his head-to-head -head battles with arch-nemesis Lionel Messi have created quite a stir. Despite their conflict, it would seem that the two stars have profited from their ongoing feud rather well. Although, if I'm honest, I will always have a rather soft spot for this particular Portuguese player. Not only does Ronaldo make his millions and billions from actually playing football, but he has also been tied to a number of large endorsements for many years. One of his main income streams comes from sports clothing brand Nike. Since 2016, his rather lustful deal with the company has been most beneficial, and according to rumors, Ronaldo earns more than $20 million annually from the sports giant. Back in May last year, the trainer company released a special 10-year anniversary version of his Mercurial Superfly. To top it off, they also released a child-sized version to honor his son's 10th birthday. How adorable! Nike is not the only company that Ronaldo profits from. Other skin, hair care and lifestyle brands also borrowed his chiseled cheekbones for endorsements. This includes companies such as Herbal Life, Clear Shampoo and Abbott. His final income stream is from purchasing his own hotel, Pestina CR7, in his hometown of Madeira in Portugal. Anyone who wishes to stay a night can expect to pay over $200 a night. The saucy celebrity is also wanting to expand the brand to other cities across the globe, including New York, Lisbon and Madrid. Due to his multiple and equally lucrative income revenues, is it any wonder that he has a rather elaborate collection of assets to post on his ever-profitable social media? He is now one of the most followed athletes ever and has 475 million followers across multiple platforms. So, what does this athlete spend his money on? Well, if glorious rumors are to be believed, the answer is vehicles, vehicles, vehicles and more vehicles. Ronaldo is renowned for having a number of lavish Lamborghinis and various other beautiful cars. His particularly extravagant collection includes a $2.5 million Bugatti Chevron and a $300,000 Lamborghini Aventador. Other notable mentions include three Ferraris, a Bentley GT Speed worth $220,000 and a $200,000 Aston Martin DB9. If this bonkers billionaire doesn't fancy some of his wilder rides, he also has a pool of Audis and Mercedes-Benz sports cars he may also choose from. Now, I have a number of vehicles, but I think Ronaldo may pit me to the punch with his collection. As well as having purchased most of his vehicles due to being one of the most followed athletes in the world, Ronaldo also gets some of his wheels as donations for his endorsement work. Though, of course, he is never short on money to purchase his own. Not only does Ronaldo prefer to drive in style, he also likes to fly in the utmost style. He has his own private jet that is worth $36 million. The jet is a Gulfstream G200. 
It is his preferred mode of transport for longer engagements and will fly him around the world for quick getaways, sponsorship events and various other activities. The plane itself can carry 10 passengers plus two crew members. It is kitted out with the latest technology and it has plenty of beds and comfortable seating for everyone to enjoy their journey in pompous panache. That's his travel sorted, but now, where does this billionaire live? Ronaldo originally paid $7.2 million for a mansion in La Fincha. La Fincha is one of the richest areas in Madrid and provides many perfect hours of sunshine to work on his glorious tan. When Ronaldo played for Manchester United, arguably one of his famous moves as a player, he bought a $6 million mansion. This mansion was bought and paid for in one of the most sought-after villages of Cheshire, right in the heart of the UK. It is one of my personal favourite staycation locations. Ronaldo also owns an $18.5 million Trump Tower condo in New York City. However, his purchase of the building is a rather touchy subject among fans. Upon making his choice, Ronaldo faced a backlash of criticism due to the building being affiliated with one Donald J. Trump, who, as we are all aware, has proven himself to be a rather unpopular candidate over the years. But you can't blame him for buying such a lavish apartment, when the views that come with it are so stunning. The building has views overlooking the beautiful Hudson River and the ever-famous Central Park. This makes his purchase a rather exclusive deal that would not be available for the average American. Despite being lucky enough to own a number of places across the globe, it is unusual for Cristiano Ronaldo to be seen in one place at any one time. This is very true for his football playing locations but also for travelling vacations too. His favourite holiday destinations include the Greek islands and the beautiful island of Ibiza. Like many billionaires, Ronaldo enjoys taking his time to find luxury holiday destinations and, once he's arrived, will spend some outlandish sums of money while he is there. There aren't many places across the globe this man is yet to discover. This is because football has taken him all over. Plus, when you've got a jet of your own to get around, wouldn't you visit your neighbours in countries across the globe? Despite being famed for putting on a tenter tantrum show, Ronaldo is not as selfish as many may think. He has been known to have rather attractive partners throughout the years and has recently settled. He is not averse to showing some rather cute photos of his children on social media. And as such, he is a man of the children's heart. He has consistently been involved with the charity Save the Children for many years. He has a great relationship with the charity and his philanthropy also extends to various others. He is consistently promoting charity work and encouraging people to donate. Of course, many of his fans will see his promotions and buy into them, thus immediately making a rather lucrative and necessary donation stream to those chosen charities. Ronaldo has a couple of years of footballing life left in him. He has been recorded saying that he will likely retire in 2024 at the ripe old age of 40. With an impressive career behind him, he can look forward to the simple things in life and spend his billion where he sees fit. What are your thoughts on Cristiano Ronaldo? Do you think other players are worthy to be the next football billionaires? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, kindly hit and like the subscribe button. Do not forget to click on the notification bell too, so you can stay updated with new luxurious content as soon as we upload it. Thank you. Now, which billionaire should I investigate next?